So what's your preference? Oh, I'd say we'd buy it from Watson. I mean, that'd be my recommendation. That's the cheapest one on the whole list. You can, you yeah, you've I've had these before, haven't you? Well, we've got three Komatsu graders. We didn't really have never had a Komatsu loader. I talked to Sumner County, Harper County, and Rice County, who all have Komatsu loaders, and none of them had any issues. Now with the Komatsu, they have a, what they call a Comcast on it. It's kind of like uh, how long ago it's so it's just little antenna sets up and it'll send it'll give them air codes if there's something wrong with it. I mean, and this is free for five years. Oh, I mean, oh yeah. it tells yeah. something going wrong with it. Yeah, put them so. Huh? Okay. Yeah, so yeah. this like a North Star type thing. Yeah, it'd be something like okay. that. Any mechanical like, problems that, that, that's broadcast it. Yeah, it'll give you an air code and it'll, it'll tell them and it'll notify anybody. We set this up. We want to notify like, like right the bill. Do you need a driver for it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then they'll be out in 10 minutes. to fix it. Yeah. 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 You've had good service on the other side. No, we haven't. We haven't had any bad service out of any of them. Any of them. No. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Actually, he's taking the old one on. You trade it in for this. Yeah, we're okay. taking, we're going the, the landfill lever will be traded in, and then Darren will will get the 936F. This was a 94 model, I believe. Yeah. I mean, we'll have to do a little preliminary work, on but he'll get all the tires. Okay, and then they, uh, they, uh, they also give the most on trade, if you want to see that. Yep. This is trade difference? Yeah, that is the trade difference. That's very easy. Okay. What's the difference in the process of that? Pardon me? That's, that's the caterpillar there, right? There you no, this is no, the final. That's the, okay, this, this is the final price of your trade, right? Yes. Okay. Here's it. Seventeen. Four, if you'd like to look at that, yeah, right. Liquefies. 
Well, it just it turns into a brick. It just turns into a solid. <laughs> if, if, if you let any air get to it at all, it'll turn into a brick. Um, I don't know, I'll ask there. I, I had some people ask me, and I've got a sack of it too. But I don't know that that'd be hazardous or not. It's calcium chloride. Yeah. Thanks, girl. Okay. Little recess. Nearby. That's fine. We're so busy. <laughs> Good morning. How's your summer been? Hectic. Hectic. Did you get weaned in and all that sort of Hell stuff? Oh yeah. Good. No major damage. Yeah. I had a Did you get notebooks from me? All I got was what was emailed. Oh, well, shucks. I have notebooks for you with everything. <laughs> I thought I couldn't find them in my office. I thought, oh, I did the right thing. I mailed them on out there with everything. Okay, sorry. I will send you a full, complete notebook. And so I was looking for my notebook, and I thought I bet I mailed it with their notebook. So I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the notebooks are missing. All right. The notebooks are missing. It's a bad day, though. I'll find them, yes. I was looking for them yesterday. Well, um, I finished working on what you asked me to work on. Um, your numbers look very competitive. I think you all knew that, though, when I was here, that you're in pretty good shape market wise. Um, and we worked on some job descriptions, so that was good. I think some people got some updates and got some things flushed out in those rooms of departments and responsibilities and future positions. So that's good, like in the 911 kind of area and those sorts of things. So anyway, but what I have here is um, what I would like to see you do is annually uh, continue to adjust people's wages and adjust your ranges just as you have been. You know, you've been doing that kind of all along and that's kept you in a competitive position. And by competitive, I really mean half of everyone pays more than you and half pays less. You're not overly competitive, you're not leading the market. I think you realize that too, that you're not the top payer. You're right in the middle, so. Um, what I did- You're looking at our size. Yes. Yes, I looked at, um, I sure did. The other thing I looked at was employees' years of service within the organization to see whether we would expect some of them to be moved along the pay scale a little bit. And I, I do see that probably you might want to consider some adjustments there, and I itemized what those might be. Um, and you have a list of those as well. Um, so I think that that might be something I might consider um, if I were in your shoes. Um, no specific changes to benefits. I think you all pay in terms of benefit package is a little bit ahead of this, um, but not too much ahead. It kind of is reflective on your salaries. Okay. Just a tiny bit ahead, um, but no changes in benefit packages. So, um, on the next page I outlined um, who was used in the study, um, and I listed the different counties. The um, data indicates we're really ahead with the exception of two positions in terms of actual positions, secretary in the health department and the deputy treasurer. So those two positions I think you need to kind of pay particular attention to. And then I have some specific recommendations for, yeah, for some of your elected officials as well. Um, <clears throat> so I think, you know, I have a, a detail on here, and I have another handout, which was in your book, so I got to find that book and send this to you, which is really about the same as what you have here. Um, on this, I don't know if your handout, I was kind of hoping yours might this is the treasurer, the middle 
Um, this, oh, okay. if the, it's not the registered deeds, it's oh, okay. the treasurer. And I was kind of hoping I had made that correction on yours. But what I saw in elected official pay in general is that in relationship to your peers, um, you're in pretty good shape. You know, you're a little bit ahead on your county attorney, a little ahead on your clerk, tiny bit behind for you guys. The treasurer, in relationship to the other positions, is relative behind. Relative behind. But what with the other? Compared to other counties? Compared to the other counties, it's right on target. Okay. I meant in relationship to your other elected officials. But you could talk about the other counties are all target the other counties. Yeah, you're right. And then the sheriff is a tiny bit more. In relationship to other counties. So you have all those numbers. So the average is pretty. You're in really, you're in really good shape on elected officials. I think if I were to make any adjustments, I would think about the sheriff. You might think about some adjustment for yourselves and then for the treasurer in relationship to other positions. But really, these aren't big margins. <laughs> yeah, you're really lucky. Um, then I've outlined some specific by department, by position adjustments based on where we would expect somebody to be given how many years of service they have with your organization. So what this really means to show you is if somebody's, if there are other factors like performance or something that, you know, we don't necessarily know about that would have kept someone's pay lower for some unknown reason, we would have expected them to be kind of making this additional amount more. So, what I'm suggesting is if you make specific adjustments, you know, your ranges are going to um, be adjusting. Some of these people are probably kind of toward the bottom even though they have a lot of years of service. Now maybe it's their performance or something that I don't know about that's kept them in those lower levels. But if there's, if there's not some other reason, you might consider making some adjustments here. I've tried to outline what some of those would be. There's some specifics about how some of these came to be where they are, too. Wouldn't you say, given, and, and some of you are here, you know, and so you know some of that. So then you have um, all the market data, and it shows you where you are in relationship. You're in pretty good shape all along, um, with the exception of the two positions that I pointed out. That would be the deputy treasurer and the clerk position in the health department. And that's looking at just average pay of those positions compared to your average pay. Well, not everyone's going to be at the average pay. You, know, you may have some behinds in the head. But overall, I would suggest keep doing what you're doing. Because you've been doing that, you're not far behind. Whereas other counties get in a position where they hold the range of steady or don't adjust those and don't adjust employees and then the, well, the chunk to get them going forward is big. So you've kind of incrementally done that in a perspective way all along. So well, this is our purpose of the to make sure we try to keep it, you know, there are five six years and good to see where we're at and make sure we are at I'm happy because you're not ahead. You're just right just above the middle of the market and just slightly. You know, I think it puts you in a good competitive position. Some counties are, you know, out of 10 payers, they might be at the 40th percentile where six pay more and, you know, you're not there. Half pay more and half pay less, essentially. It's a good position to be in. I guess your turnover probably reflects that in some of those departments, too. That's where I, that's where I was. But if you pay them, you keep your good health. Right. And they say that the cost of having turnover is 40% of the position. So when a job does turn over, it costs you a lot to train. Well, and training, you know that, right. especially the public safety um, positions, sending them to the academy and getting them certified. Then they have to be out, out on patrol for three months and before they're 
let loose by themselves. And the health department too has a lot of training. So those are and and the appraiser's office. There's a lot of training that goes into you know how all that works. Well, all the departments. You don't go to school for a lot of the county functions. So um, some of them you can. So you're in good shape. I would keep doing what you're doing. I think one thing that you will find is that um, I'd be interested in what kind of have you got to your budget yet, or is this part of that piece? We're in the process. We're in the process. We haven't got it back yet. Okay. I think the whole um, other counties I'm talking to are looking at three and four percent adjustments still this year. I think that yeah, it's just hard given the price of gas and food yeah, and all those things not yeah. to be looking at at least that much. So, and I don't know what the governor, what the state did. Does anyone know? I wouldn't want to scope on that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so others are looking at three and four percent. Just thought I would share that with you. That might be good information. Um, that's kind of been consistent for the last three and four years. That's been that yeah, about three percent. Yeah. Increased cost of living. So I need to get your notebooks. I gotta find those. Okay. I bet they're in my closet. I bet I unpack them from the car and put them in the closet where I store stuff. So I'll get you notebooks. In your notebooks is all of this plus the market data plus all the market results by the different groups, and then you have all your job descriptions in there. So I was having you in my notebook, so my apologies. <laughs> I almost called you yesterday to say, give me some notebooks, and I thought, no, I'm sure they're out there. I'm sure I must have them. So anyway. Well, we got you confused about reskating. <laughs> yeah. So it's partially our fault. Yeah. I'm sorry. But you're in good shape. That should no, be should, reassuring. No. So that's why I think it's necessary to have this, these dinners so often to see where we are fitting into their employees. You know, the thing about doing this, like the uh, dispatch and communication, that made them begin to concentrate on where they want to go in the future and what they want, you know, this good opportunity to get them to work on some more strategic long-term pieces to their puzzles, you know, and so that's good. I think this actually, maybe they were working on that anyway, but it all kind of seemed to fit kind of nicely together. More of a motivator. It, it helped me, and then I called back and asked questions and got more information, so I think that was helpful to me as well, so to kind of flush out some ideas. So yes, all your job descriptions are updated, and I'll find those, and I'll send those this week, so you'll have those for, do you meet again Monday, or the week out? Okay, I'll have them out to you by Monday, okay? and you'll have those to look at. If you have questions, then just call me and let me know. Or if you have questions now, whatever you might want to ask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More thoroughly said before. Yeah. Um, yeah. We looked at we looked at the same group that we looked at last year, plus added a couple, trying to get a broader sort of scope. Um, so. Okay. Well. Anyway. Sounds pretty painful that part of doing. I, yeah, it tells me you're on the right track, and I wouldn't make any changes. But you got to feel good about what you're doing. Do you have any questions? I mean, you're the implementer of so much stuff. Like here's, yeah. here's the <laughs> well, yeah, here's the idea. Now she is the payroll part of all this sort of stuff to make yeah. things work. Um, let me know if you do once you get to that okay. point. Um, so, okay. Okay, great. Thank you for coming out. You got a tour of the countryside coming out there, then. Yes. You know, <laughs> I think I told you I used to live in Ellis, and so when the GPS told me it was up there, I was like, that can't be right. You know, I was just sure that that wasn't right. And I was like, uh oh, I have like 10 more miles to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call my mother. And where, did you, where did you drive in from? I came, I 70 to Ellsworth to Great Bend in no. town, so Kansas City. So I can I came that way. Sometimes I'm sure you guys go the other way, don't you? Like through, across the bottom over to Emporia if you're going to Kansas City. That's you go 50 and 150. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been on that a lot lately. My son is at Katie this week, so I decided I'd drop a package off. Of there. <laughs> yeah, I go yeah up to 56 and then yeah. across. 
150 to 140. I don't know which is quicker. I'll try to stay out of Kansas. Well, it's just, it's just they, put that, they put that roundabout at Florence. Oh, yeah. And of course, all the semis mm -hmm. are yes. on Highway 50, and I just I yeah. can't handle that. Yeah. Well, I just don't like roundabouts. Yeah. Yes, I saw a car going the wrong way last week. I was coming back from Hatch, and they're going the wrong way around. I was like, oh my gosh. They're very common. I don't like Why do they build those things in the first place? Well, especially as many trucks as have to go around that area. I just, they put that in. Yeah. Well, it used to be a two way stop. Right. And then someone was injured, and then they put in a four way stop. And then they put in the. I guess not. In <laughs> yeah. yeah. 77 and, yeah. Right. Well, thank oh, you. All right. Thank you very much. Please contact me if you have questions. Oh, we will. Get your notebooks to you by Friday. Okay. Now I think I know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thank you. 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 I guess we'll recess till about 3.30 this afternoon. Okay. I think we we'll probably need an executive session for how long discussing all that personnel. You always come out early, I mean, so 20 minutes, half hour. We'll say half hour, then we'll clear. How many we may have an executive session? Do you want to elect the personnel? 30 minutes? No, second. Move to the second. All in favor say aye. aye. We are in executive session. Okay. Okay, we've got a couple items here. One item is uh, on this uh, sort of the housing opportunities, community housing organizations that we. Oh, okay. Well, I make a motion we authorize JD to sign the letter to the. Um, um, Housing Opportunities Incorporated in the Great Bend, Kansas. Um, well, Stafford County will be dropped out of their services. A second. And then we I have a four man. Second. Oh, I'm sorry, second. Second. Well, move, move the second, all favor say aye. 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 Do that. A uh, formal resignation from our emergency services director. Jason Bolt, and we're accepting his resignation as of today. And uh, the final day would be the, gen the July the 21st, is that correct? That's yes. Right. We're calling it 10 days from the date we received See, his letter. Right. But we're, we're at the termination, his acceptance is as of today, correct? Yes. Okay. I'll put that in the form of a motion. I'll second that move. Okay, move. Second, we accept this uh, resignation. Jason Bowe, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Anything else? Well, we I believe we're appointing Doris Tompkins as acting right. director of EMS and emergency preparedness. Right. As the interim. At pro tem, pro -tem interim. Whatever, whatever, right. They're yeah. all interchangeable terms. Right. It's basically to fill the gap as the county will be advertising for a new director seeking applications. Okay. Do we need that in motion? No, no, just, no, just, just in for information. Just information. Just information. Just anything else? I don't think Good. we have anything. You have anything, Jeff? Yeah. No. I'd ask for a motion to adjourn. I so move. Good. We are adjourned.